Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Dr. G, and welcome to my first episode of House Calls with Dr. G. I am so excited to welcome you here. You're in my basement. We're coming to you live. And really what I want to do as I'm kicking off my House Calls with Dr. G series, what it's going to be about, it's going to be about you meeting some of the people that I trust in my life, my good friends and my colleagues that are experts at what they're doing, and we're going to tease you a little bit. This is kind of like a teaser to get you ready for my upcoming show. So today, we're going to be talking about living your best life. I'm queuing up everything for you. My men out there, men, listen. We're going to basically talk about what does it take to live your best life. And on my show on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook Live, check it out. We're going to be talking about what does it take to live your best life. And the reality is that for us as men, we're not always living our best lives or we always haven't lived our best lives. But something's happened, certainly to me and to my guest, Joe Logilia, that something happened in our lives that allowed us to basically say, you know what? Hey, I think I'm at that point that I am living my best life. So what I want to do is I want to welcome you and introduce you to my good friend and colleague, Joe Logilia. Let me read you his credentials because he's got a lot of credentials. It's deep. <laughs> so Joe Logilia, he's a senior mortgage loan originator, Oak Leaf Community Mortgage, founder and owner at MortgageMessage.com, and co-founder of Social Vin Network. You gotta check him out. So Joe and I met uh, last year, but we've been great friends ever since. And when I was coming up with the show idea for men living your best life, I had to get Joe here because he's gonna give us a teaser. So Joe, yes, say hi to everybody. Welcome. Yeah, no, it's Dr. G. Thank you so much for letting me be on the show. I've been following you. I think your your every single episode I've watched. You're 40 plus now. Yeah, 40 plus episodes now. Yeah, so it's cool that uh, I'm actually on this house call show, which I'm super excited <laughs> about. So thank you. So excellent. So what we're gonna do in the time that we have, I'm gonna basically ask a little bit. Of, this is gonna again kind of like a teaser, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna ask Joe a couple questions about living your best life. And as we, what's important to us is as we have purpose in what we're doing, we talk about it we're here to help help uplift everyone men yes this is part of my men's health series so men we're talking to you but we're also trying to have a message of uplifting for everyone out there so joe let me ask you this question yeah <clears throat> you weren't always living your best life yeah. was there a catalyst uh to you or even better yet what does living your best life mean yeah no it's a great question and i think that uh this is one that i'm excited to talk about basically for me and we'll get more into it on wednesday um but coming out of the recession um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of stories of coming out of the recession, and for me, um, when I enter this mortgage game, as, as you mentioned, I've been in mortgages for 20 plus years, um, that first part of my career leading up to the recession, um, things came quite easily. And so the recession really for me was kind of the first punch in the gut of life. And when that occurred, there was a lot of different things happening. There was things that maybe I was taking for granted, things that, um, as I said, came easier um, than expected. And that recession really humbled me. Um, and it brought me to a point to where I started really thinking about the life that I was leading, um, my purpose, my why, so to speak. And walking the uh, tough couple years there, I got to the point to where I, I finally started to discover my why. I, I met my wife. Um, my wife and I, I started to actually have um, dreams and, and, and visions of starting a family. And at that point, it was really, for me, the moment that I decided, you know, every single day is an opportunity to be able to start building my legacy. And, you know, from that moment, Dr. G, um, you know, when we talk about living my best life, it was at that moment that despite I've made many mistakes since then, but that, that was the moment where every single day I said that there's a long-term purpose of this thing. Um, and having my first uh, child, my daughter Evelyn, in 2015, yes. my son in 2017, um, you know, and now family of four, and, and as you mentioned, just so many different things that we're a part of now. Um, it's really, for me, living our best life is just bringing your best every single day and, and, and knowing that there's a legacy that you're going to leave behind you. So that's, that's how I would answer that. Excellent. You know, you mentioned something, Joe, about... Mm -hmm. You know, you've had some mistakes along the way. Mm -hmm. And I would say, again, living your best life is not necessarily living your perfect life. That's right. Because it's okay to make mistakes. I've made mistakes myself. We all go from point A to point B in life, whatever our purpose is that we follow. But you know you're going to learn along the way. Yeah. So let me ask you this question. Yeah. You know, some of us have some bad moments. You know, we mm -hmm. have experiences that shape us in the past. Yeah. But how is it? how do we best learn from those experiences to really help keep us on our path towards destiny in the future? Oh, such a good question. I mean, for me, Dr. G, the moment that I stopped judging myself, the moment that I, 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 I subscribed to the mantra of it's about progress, not perfection, uh, the moment that I allowed myself to, to make mistakes and create those um, failures into lessons, 
Um, again, it may sound cliche to someone that's on this path, but I was not on this path before. And so I'm speaking to the person that hasn't gotten to this point yet and realize that it, it is about learning, taking every experience as a learning moment for you to be able to build off of. And I think I look back at my life these last nine, 10 years since the recession, um, and as you said, everything I just mentioned, I've followed. And really, I think it starts with just not judging yourself. Yeah. You get to be true to yourself, too. I mean, we always talk about you got to be comfortable in the skin that you're in. And you have to love yourself before you can, because if you're not loving yourself and not comfortable with that, that pain and that discomfort can hamper you from living your best life. Mm. I know for me, my thing of living my best life is, is really what's going on right now. I've, I've been blessed to have a career as a physician, and it's still a growing career as a physician. But my my better accomplishments are being a devoted husband mm. to my wife Tiffany and being in the awesomest, raddest, coolest, hippest dad <laughs> to my son yes. Evan and my daughter Ava. And I really think that like these experiences have really helped balance me out. And yes, we're busy what we do because yes. you're a busy dad, yes. uh, you're a busy husband, you're a busy professional. But, but it makes the effort that you put forth each day much more worthwhile. That's Correct. right. Absolutely. And I think that you, know, you really hit on something that, that for me, I'm, I'm, you know, we talk about learning. Every day I'm learning this work-family balance. And, and I think for me, it's so critical that you move into each opportunity knowing that it's an opportunity to change and to get better and to hit reset. Um, so many times I learn something that I didn't know before and I say to myself, it's okay to change. You know, it's okay to let go of what you thought was the path and, uh, and, and pivot. And so absolutely, when you talk about family, that's such a motivator. Yeah. You have to be, another thing that I think about when it comes to living your best life, you have to be flexible. You know, mm. the, what the world gives you, what the universe gives you, sometimes you just have to take it. That's right. But you learn from that experience. And, and one of the things that I like learning about life experiences is it's allowed me to continue to pay it forward. We were talking a little bit off air about just some of the things that both of us mm. have done, yes. paying it forward. When you hear that term, paying it forward, what does that mean to you? <laughs> uh, yeah, so for me, um, I, you know, I talked to, real quickly about the, the couple of years there during the recession that I'd say were my, my darkest hours, but also was my, my, the most important moment of my life to where I started to let go and, and, uh, and, and move forward. And, and I think knowing the people along the way at that moment um, that was building bridges for me and, and opening doors for me at, at, at what I would say was my lowest point, um, I feel an absolute requirement to do the same today when I'm in this point of being blessed in the life that I have. And so for me, it's, it's remember reflecting on the moments of the past that someone grabbed, you know, reached out their hand to help me and pick me up and, and being able to be that, that hand to, to somebody else. Excellent. Well, thank you, Joe. Hey, everybody, this has been real. It's been great to catch up with Joe. You will see him on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time along with a group of other experts, professional gentlemen that are really at the tops of their games and living their best lives. So don't forget to check me out on my website, www.drmarkgomez.com. You know my social media handles, at To Your Health DRG. I'll see you guys on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time when we're going to conclude my men's health series, part four, living your best life. Peace out. Take care.